everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you're new here, hello, welcome. I'm Kaylee Kincaid, and this is my channel all about eco-friendly cleaning, organizing, products, lifestyle, etc. Today's video is a little different, something I've never done before. I am going to show you both my nighttime and daytime skin routine with natural products. Um, so if that interests you, stick around. Let's get started. So before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I have combination skin, which means it's a little bit oily, but also prone to dry out. And so if you have a different type of skin, this routine may not work for you. Um, and even if you have combination skin, this routine may not work for you. It's really important to research and test things out and try um, to see what will work for you. I used to be one of those girls who was using St. Ives apricot scrub every day, ruining my face until a couple years ago when my youngest sister Madison was like, girl, what are you doing? You cannot be using St. Ives apricot scrub. You're going to ruin your skin. And as I near 30, which I'm 29 now, those words have never resonated more with me. Um, I'm starting to see fine lines and a little bit of wrinkles and that really prompted me to start taking care of my skin better. Um, so these are some products that I found that are green and they really work for my skin and I just wanted to share them with you in case you are beginning your journey to find your skincare routine. So the first thing to always start with is cleansing. Um, I cleanse my face in the morning and evening. You're not going to want to do it too much more than that um, so that your face doesn't dry overly dry out in the evening or in the morning after a long night. <laughs> if you have a full face of makeup, the first thing that I do is take one of these magic eraser uh, washcloths. These are super soft um, and I just get it wet with cold or lukewarm water and rub it all over my face and wipe the makeup off. These are super gentle on your skin, so soft, and they take your makeup off better than anything that I've ever experienced before. This one um, I got in the FabFitFun box, not sponsored yet, <laughs> but this one um, is the Magic Eraser, and I also have a couple of different brands um, that my grandma got me for Christmas because grandma knows what's up. But yeah, love that thing. And then after I have my makeup off, I use this. This is the kale plus green tea plus spinach vitamin superfood cleanser by Youth to the People. I'm obsessed with this stuff. This is the best cleanser I've ever experienced, ever used. It cleanses so deeply. It doesn't dry me out too much, but it's really kept any acne or hormonal acne at bay, and I just absolutely love it. Um, like I said, I will link this below, but what I do is splash my face with some warm water, do half a pump because that's really all that you need. Just lather it up. And I cleanse my face for 45 seconds to a minute. Um, not pressing too hardly, too hardly, not pressing too hard. Really getting in the grooves. Then rinse it off and then blot dry with a towel. I try not to I try not to like wipe my skin, I just try to be really gentle and blot it dry everywhere. That way it's less damaging and gentle on my skin. Okay, the next step is toning. I do this morning and evening, um, and the toner I love is this Coco Kind Raspberry Vinegar Toner. You can see there's barely any left in there. I use this every day. Um, if you need something a little bit gentler, they also have a rose water toner, I believe. And I think I'm gonna try that next, um, just because I really love this, but I am actually looking for something a little bit more gentle. Um, but I like to use products up as much as possible before I switch to something new. So then I just take a cotton pad like these and spray a few sprays, usually three toner and then I just blot my T-zone and yeah. I also have really sensitive skin. 
Um, so going on this journey to find things that have worked for my skin has been a long one, um, but and it still continues. So, and you can kind of tell right now, I actually recently had a breakout of hives. Um, I got a sensitivity food test to see what's going on with that. So I still have some redness um, throughout here, but it's gone down crazy from what it was. So, okay. So tone like that after toning. Next is moisturizing. This is the moisturizer I use. It's also by Youth to the People. This is their Superfood Air Whip Moisturizing Cream. Um, and it has hyaluronic, 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 however you say that, acid in it, um, which is really minimizing for your pores and helps keep you looking young. This is a nice um, texture of a moisturizer. It's not super creamy since I am prone to um, oily skin, but I'm also prone to dryness, so I need this moisture. And I really have found that this moisturizer moisturizes a lot, but doesn't leave me feeling greasy or too heavy, and it doesn't clog my pores. So I just dab that all over, and I am... I am prone to get dry um, pretty much everywhere, so I will put this all over. Then, if it's in the evening and I have some extra dryness anywhere, um, like I said before, right through here is all dried out because I did use some tea tree to combat all of the hives that I was having, um, which kind of dries out my skin. So if I'm experiencing something like that and it's in the evening, I will go in with this Waleda Hydrating Night Cream. Um, this has iris extracts in it and it's super creamy, super thick, and very, very hydrating. Um, whoa. So I will just take literally that much of that and kind of dot it where I need it and then just rub it in and I if you have really dry skin this this is their night cream but this might be good um to use during the day just for me with oily I can't wear it like under my makeup or anything um because it's just a little too dewy but that look is in so you could use it if you want um, so I do that. Then if it's during the day, I this is probably my number one tip for skincare is sunscreen. I always wear sunscreen. Um, usually I wear the CeraVe mineral sunscreen, but I just went to Walmart to re-up um, before a weekend trip and they didn't have CeraVe sunscreen there. So I got this one instead. Um, but I've been liking it. It's the Aveeno Baby Zinc Oxide SPF 50. Um, this stuff has been working just fine. Um, it's very comparable to the CeraVe. And those products, these two products I don't think are 100% natural. Oh, this one is. <laughs> CeraVe isn't, but this one is. Or I recently got this um, little sample of this Dermalogica, and I've been really liking that too. So either one of these but as if you're choosing a sunscreen a new sunscreen I highly recommend getting a mineral sunscreen it's eco-friendly it's better for the earth and it's better for your skin so I will just take a squirt of that and get that oh my gosh everywhere and I put it on my hands too during the day because hands show signs of wrinkling and sunspots and age really easily and you just want to cover those. So I'll put that everywhere like including my eyelids, under eyes, my ears, down through my neck and this kind of like acts as my moisturizer for my neck. If I should be moisturizing my neck more than that, then somebody tell me. I do moisturize my neck in the evening. Um, in the evening time, I obviously don't put on sunscreen to go to bed, so I would have skipped that step, but I take this Waleda Skin Food. 
Um, this is a cr super rich, super creamy moisturizer. Um, it's like a hand cream normally. So I would, t instead of the sunscreen on my hands, I would take a little bit of this and rub it in to both my hands and I use this on my neck. Okay, and then say I have a zit somewhere, right? Because, duh, we all do. Um, right now I have this one on my nose. And usually for that, if it's just a zit that doesn't have a pustule, I know that's a gross word, but you know, like a white head, um, I would just take a tiny bit of tea tree oil. I like this brand, um, but just make sure whatever brand you're getting is a good one, reputable. Um, so I'll take, usually mine just has a little bit on top, the tiniest bit of tea tree and then the tiniest bit of my Weleda oil and I will rub it in to the zit and tea tree is super drying and super potent so you don't want to use a ton but just the tiniest bit mixed with a carrier oil or with your moisturizer to dry out that zit hopefully so that's for little zits and also I do that when I break out with hives um, then if you do have a zit that has a pustule on it gross again sorry um, I will put one of these little dots over it um, instead of picking it you do not want to pick your zits that can cause scarring but the, here's what these look like they come in a few, couple different sizes um, and you can just take one of those at night this is at night or during the day if you don't mind um, and just put it over your zit and it should dry it out and really help reduce the size um, quickly okay we're almost done one more product um actually no two more products okay so for daytime throughout the day if I want to re-up on my sunscreen which if you're out and about especially in the sun you definitely will want to do this I have found this tart stick mineral powder SPF stick um, it's all in one stick it looks like this you can pump it and it gets the powder into here and then you can just put it all over your face and that helps kind of dry up any shine that you have going on and also reapplies your sunscreen throughout the day. This is not 100% clean, but it's really just a mineral powder. So honestly, I think it's pretty safe and clean and I kind of trust it. I don't know. Um, so there's that. And then if you know me, you probably know that I'm obsessed with chapstick. I reapply it 50 times a day um, and I apply it liberally before I go to sleep at night um, just because I'm super prone to biting my lips. It's a really bad habit that I have. So if I have chapstick on, then I am less likely to be biting my freaking lips. And out of all of the chapsticks I've ever tried, which has been quite a few, this is my absolute favorite. I'm obsessed with Nivea, Nivea. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I'm obsessed with it. Um, it just looks like this. It's just a clear stick. Just put this, slab this baby all over my lips. I even go kind of like outside. I just get it in there. I love it. I don't think Nivea is 100% clean, but it's one of those brands like CeraVe that are just old and trusted and you can read the ingredients right there. It's nothing crazy. I've looked up all these ingredients and they're really healthy for you. So even though it doesn't say like 100% clean and organic, it's pretty, pretty good for your skin. Fight me on that, bro. Fight me. Um, so I use this day and night. I also love their little tins. They're like this big. Um, Nivea tins, they have raspberry and the normal one. I use those a lot and there's nothing better. I'm telling you right now, nothing better. So that's the end. That's the end of my skincare. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy, not a ton of products. Um, and these are my trusted and true products. Like I said, I'll have them all linked below. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you hate any of these, you love any of these, um, something that you might recommend anything like that, I would be so interested to know. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, 
please, please, please hit that red subscribe button to support my channel. I would love to have you on board and follow me on Instagram for some more tips and tricks and some fun stuff. Um, I do shorter videos and like short posts on there. I will link that in the description and also have it on the end screen coming up. And thanks again for watching. Have a great day.